All the men I knew. Okay. They were all either my students, friends, uh, uh, all of that. And how did you get them to pose? Uh, well, they just, uh, well, they trusted me. <laughs> and so then, uh, that's one nice thing about mm -hmm. if you know the people. And uh, uh, and so, uh, and they were always very relaxed on, on mm -hmm. whatever. And I didn't really tell them what to pose. It was just how they went, okay, what about over there? Okay, let's try over here. And then it was how they would uh, do. Because I really do believe if you really want to know how, uh, the inner workings of a person is a lot. Why <laughs> now I'm revealing an awful lot, <laughs> and uh, but uh, you know because uh, if you look at my portraits, that uh, well, I say the eyes truly are how how what 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 because you interact with the person and the eyes are truly the windows to the soul. I do believe that. Then it comes the hands, and then it becomes the stance. And uh, and and, so they the would, eyes. and I wouldn't I would not you know they, that was just how and then how they would confront the camera. At first, I painted my childhood. They were uh, my response to growing up West River, which was totally different uh, than uh, kids that grow up in a city. I grew up on a farm, and so when I got to Sioux Falls, why uh, little by little, the little bitty figures that inhabited my landscape. They became bigger and bigger and bigger because I was living in a, an urban uh, environment and my world became all in this urban and I taught and so everything was in uh, with people and so the figures just kept crowding out the background until it was okay this is the figure and then it became the portrait. Mm -hmm. Painting on a blank canvas is just this, uh, it's the scariest thing. I, I When I hit the blank canvas, it's just like, oh my God, I think I'd rather go, you know, mine coal in Butte, Montana, than confront this thing that I'm going to, mm -hmm. to try. And uh, so uh, then uh, I draw out basically the figure and kind of have an idea, okay, this is what uh, I would combine environments and such. Uh, then I <clears throat> would have an idea of what, but uh, color, no. I have no, I don't plan it out. I have no real clue. It's an, it's an evolution there. It evolves as I go. And I always started out, and then when I'd go paint, I'd paint the face and then the hands all the kind of the flesh part and crap. And uh, uh, then if that was going well, then I would just keep going on the figure and such. Then came the background. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of strange when I, when I paint, I'd, I'd be painting away and then, okay, I got to take a break. Okay, sit in the chair, look at that. And I thought, so that I did that. Because I'm lost like as if somebody else is just moving it, I get lost in the process, and then it jolts you back to reality, and then you go from there. See, I chose the models, mm -hmm. because, uh, uh, okay, what are they like? You know, mm -hmm. like that one there. Okay, uh, uh, he came from Mitchell, South Dakota, by the way, where my uh, alma mater. But see, I, I, here he is in uh, a real environment, uh, but a city environment, mm -hmm. uh, the long hair and such, and uh, and and this is what he, my interpretation of what his basic soul was. There he is, a very comfortable kind of hey, here I am, gang, uh, and in the urban environment. Mm -hmm. That was what I did, and it was all part of that age. Because I think that I think an artist. This is just my opinion. I think an artist should actually. Uh, reflect his environment, his age, because it is a whole search and everybody's trying to make sense out of, out of uh, why they're here, uh, of their environment, what is it all about? And mine became very much this uh, 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 thing with people. I'll keep painting. I don't paint as much as I used to because my basement's full. Uh, and they just keep, as you well know, they keep stacking up. And uh, But uh, the one thing that it provides for me is it is an eternal search 
I don't know where it's going to take me. I think I am really believing that everything is kind of in a circle, a cycle. And I think life is like that. And I think uh, uh, your reaction to your world and to your art or whatever it is, is like that. I am going back all new again, I think, but it's all a discovery in a different way of the cycle. And therefore, uh, being an art, it's never dull, it's always a quest. There is no end. I wish everybody uh, believed that, uh, because I do think it's so important. And then if there is no end, then there's no fear. Because I'll come back and haunt everybody. <laughs>